Oh, right. Hi folks, I'm in the Waiteca Hotel in Alicante in Spain. I'm abroad, I'm in Spain. Oh, Brexit, Covid, everything else. I finally made it. So I'm here for one night only. And honestly, I can't remember how much it costs, so I'm just going to make it magically appear on the screen right now, here. Right, anyway, so I've just come into the room. It's a really small hotel. It could even be a hotel stroke hostel, I'm not sure, but I've got a room to myself, which is always what you want. Uh, it's got a double bed, which uh, looks fine, actually. It's quite nice. Uh, I've got a full-length mirror, just there. And there's a window to the world. I'm on a ground floor room, but I don't know what the world looks like outside there because it's half past one in the morning. Um, so I've just come in through this door here. I've had to put my keys in to turn on the aircon. It's currently very warm outside. It's approximately, um, I think it's about 28 degrees Celsius outside at the minute, centigrade Celsius, which is about 82. And it's, you know, early hours of the morning. So, yeah. So we've got a desk area just there, remote controls for the flat screen TV and for the air conditioning unit. I've got a fridge down here, which is always welcome, and some shelving and tea and coffee making facilities. There is a charge for the drinks which are in the fridge and they are highlighted on there. Um, I'm guessing that's what it means. Yep, there, in there. I could be tempted to have a beer, to be quite honest, because I'm pretty thirsty. Oh, let's see what happens. So just looking around, there's a very small bathroom. Um, well, I say very small, actually, it's not a very small bathroom. It's, you know, I've seen smaller. Uh, it's compact, let's, let's use that word. So it's modern, it's definitely been uh, redone. Although we've got a bit of plaster work could do with it, and painting could do with a bit of tidying up there. It's sort of the perfectionist. Uh, there's a hairdryer for those people who wish to preen their buffons. Not me, consider it preened. Got a couple of plug sockets next to the sink, um, which is unusual. <laughs> From a British perspective, where health and safety is everything. Um, and then down here, we've got a really lovely shower cubicle. It's a very long shower cubicle, a nice one. Um, and it's very modern with both rainfall and handheld options. So very nice indeed. There's shampoo and there's body wash. You've got a thing to hang your bits and bobs in. If you've got bits and bobs to hang. And there's storage as well and spare little rolls. Yeah, this is nice, you know, this is really nice. It's, it is very much feeling like that boutique aesthetic. It does feel that way. And it is called the Yteco Boutique Hotel, I believe is its full title. Anyway, there's not a lot else for me to show you. I don't want to make too much noise because people around are probably asleep. It's very quiet. Anyway, this is the room. I'm very happy with it. I'll take a few surreptitious shots um, around the front of the hotel and the outside tomorrow. Catch you later, kids. Just a couple of late things to point out. Firstly, there is a safe. It's nice and large. It would definitely hold a laptop. So that's good. It's above the fridge. And secondly, the prices. I never really noticed them before. They're pretty damn good. One euro for a beer. Cheers. Morning folks. It's the next day and I'm about to go and have breakfast but I thought we'd just have a quick look out the window and see what you can see. And this is the view outside. Now it's an internal courtyard and So that looks like it's part of the breakfast room, but an outside bit, which is really quite nice actually. But obviously when you're in your room, you don't want people looking in. So it might be a good idea to keep your curtains closed. So this is the breakfast buffet.
The film that you've just watched is a Moss Travel Media production and you can find more like them by going to www.mosstravel.tv. Thank you so much for supporting my YouTube channel and watching my film, it's hugely appreciated. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, by going to youtube.com forward slash Stuart Moss. Hit the red subscribe button. When you've done that, a little bell will appear. If you hit the bell, then you'll also get notifications about any future travel films which I upload. If you like my travel films, then you might also like my second channel, which is about home and garden. Uh, please uh, have a look for that channel. You'll find it at www.mosshomeandgarden.co.uk and if you like what you see, please give that a subscribe also. If you'd like to connect with me as Moss Travel Media on other social media, then you'll find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Moss Travel. That's the page. And if you'd like to connect with the profile, then the profile is Moss Travelog. If you'd like to connect with me on Instagram to see my travel photography, where I'm up to, what stories I'm telling, then go to instagram.com forward slash stewmoss or do a search for user stewmoss. If you'd like to connect on Twitter, I'm at Moss Travel TV. On Pinterest, I'm Moss Travel Media, which is pinterest.co.uk forward slash Moss Travel TV. On Tumblr, I'm stuartmoss.tumblr.com or just do a search for Moss Travel Tumblr. On WordPress, I'm wordpress.com forward slash view forward slash Moss Travel TV dot wordpress.com or do a search for Moss Travel Media on WordPress. And on vcontactor you can find me by going to vk.com forward slash Moss Travel Media or doing a search for Stuart Moss. If you'd like to contact me about film usage or any other issue please just email me on mosstraveltv at gmail.com and once again, thank you for watching and for your support. I really, really do appreciate it. I wish you all the best of days, happy travels and bon voyage.